previously in my last video called The Magic Mushroom. After spending the day up at the mountain lake, I woke up starving and weak with the hunger. I stumbled my way back to my car and then drove to Dariana Lake to make some food. And this is what happens next. <laughs> Sheep poop. I wonder, are the sheep trying to tell me something? <sighs> I better not cook any lamb this weekend. The sheep are watching me. So, I'll have a bit of beef. I haven't eaten anything all day long and I feel very weak. I had a few jellies, they kept me going. But I find it very hard to make a decision. Will I? Won't I? <laughs> I'm on a diet. I must lose some weight. I'm trying to say, will I have one steak or two? Yeah, we'll have the two. It's full of bad, it's good for you. A disaster. about the comforts. My favourite glass to enjoy having a whiskey. My favourite glass. And it's square at the bottom, it's round on top. It's a beautiful glass. And I broke it. I broke it. <laughs> I'm disgusted. Disgusted. That was my favourite glass. I had that years. Bye. 
off the game, I think. Cheers! I like my steak well cooked, but I'm so hungry. I think I'll have a little steak tatar to keep me going. We have some nice cabbage. about the comforts. I'm in a dilemma. I'm after realizing that I left my container worms up at the mountain lake. I feel awful leaving them up there stuck in a container destined to a slow death. I rang my wife and she said, Vincent, you're a contradiction of yourself. You're worried about the worms dying a slow death in a container and yet you stick them on a hook to catch a fish. You will end up killing yourself with a slow death if you go climbing back up that mountain to save the worms. I woke up this morning to a text message from my wife. She said, you're a mad fisherman. And if you do go up to get the worms, she said, I hope that they appreciate your efforts. Saved. I'm after being up and down that bloody mountain lake a couple of times and I'm really shattered and I fit. I'm knackered. I decided I'd call it an early day and I'll go home. And now the rain that I was looking for is after coming. And it's torrential. And I googled it. <laughs> it's 
down for the night. And when I was up at the bloody mountain lake, I have no coverage up there, so you couldn't see what was coming. But now I come back to my car and I'm ready to leave the place. <laughs> I'm ready to leave the place. <sighs> and the rain that I was looking for is here now. And am I physically able to walk up the mountain lake again? I'm not. I couldn't do it again. I'd probably end up breaking my leg or falling down a hole. So I missed my opportunity again. But we'll get there another day. <laughs> Good luck. I'm half dead after that long trek, but at least the worms are still alive and well. <laughs> they live to die another day.